In Intercalc 3D, the term member is used to describe the linear elements that we would use to represent things like beams, columns, braces, and hangers. And since those are fairly common, we have some good tools to use for modeling and modifying these members. One of the most convenient ways to model members is to use the grid. I have a grid shown here, and when I come to the Create tab and click the Members button, I can hover over the grid with the pen icon and see that it snaps to intersections. Those are viable snap points, and when I choose the right one and click, I start to rubber band and stretch to draw a member. I can then go to the desired ending end of that member and click again. And now I see that I've created the first member and I'm rubber banding to add another member. Any grid point is a viable snap point. And also notice that this node out here in space is also another location where I can snap. So I'll click there. Still rubber banding, but let's assume I'm done. So I'll right click to stop the command. Now, we have some members already modeled, and sometimes the easiest way to model additional members is to work with the ones we already have. If we come to the Modify tab, notice that we have tools like Copy and Array, and then things like Split. These can be really convenient. For instance, maybe what I'll do is select this member on the left, and then I can use the Copy tool and tell it that I want to move it in the X direction five feet. Say OK. Acknowledge that I've created some new framing. And now I've drawn the leg, the other leg of this, what might be a portal frame. At this point, let's come up and turn on the display of node numbers. And that'll be a segue into a discussion of, about the uh, member tables. If I come to tables and then members, I'll get this table that lists all of the existing members, their starting and ending nodes, and then information about what's been assigned for their material and their section and some other parameters. Now, let's assume that I want to create a braced frame out of this. We already know how we could do that with direct drawing methods, but since we're in the table, let's just insert two new rows, and then let's say that we want to create another member that goes from node number two to node number five, as well as one that goes from node number three to node number four. And then I'll click OK. And there we have braces. Now this is an interesting condition and it doesn't really fit well into many other topics. So while we're here, let's cover it. These two members that we just added are not mathematically connected. They're not gonna behave as though they're physically connected when the model is actually run. So in terms of a physical analogy, we might think of this as two tension members where one flies through a turnbuckle in the other. And it's a perfectly valid uh, modeling method and it will run just fine. But what happens if we actually want these to be HSS sections that are welded together at a common gusset plate? Well, we have a tool for that too and it's here in the Modify menu. We can come to the Split tool while those members are selected. and We have this command called Insert Nodes at Intersections of Selected Members. So if we click that, tells me that it's created one new node. Notice this message that says we may want to split these members at that node. That's our, our reminder that what we've done so far is only add the node, but we haven't actually created any separation between this half of this member and the lower half. The way that we can do that automatically is we can make sure that we select both members and that new node, and then come right back to the split command and choose the option at the bottom that says split selected members at nodes. 
this confirms that it's created a couple new members for us. And now, when I deselect everything and then start to feel around, it's very clear that I have four individual brace members, and they definitely are all connected to that common node number six. So hopefully that's a helpful view of some of the tools that you can use to model members uh, both explicitly and implicitly.